How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and in this episode we are going to be going over command signs or really we're just going to be going over looking at signs and what you can do with them. It's not necessarily command signs because you can do a lot of things with signs. Also, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub, so make sure to go follow me on there for all of the code used inside this video, which isn't really going to be all that much, um, but if you're having troubles, be sure to go take a look at that. And lastly, make sure not to skip around this video or you could miss a line of code, which could affect the outcome of your plugin. So the first thing you want to do is if you haven't been following along, you want to register your events class. So if you haven't done so already and you haven't been following along, m make a new uh, class inside of your main package here and you don't have to do a separate package like I did here, but make a new class and call it whatever you'd like. But just remember what you call it because you're going to need to do this here. Um, just do git server, git plugin manager, register events, new, the class name with some parentheses, and then this on your main class. And now this is going to give you an error and you won't be able to import it because you have to go ahead and do implements listener on there. Then you can go ahead and you, you know use this new events class. Um, but I'm not going to get too much into that because if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure to go over to, I believe it's gone. Uh, I think it's just event registration episode. I don't remember exactly what it's called. Um, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to move my microphone just a wee bit. So at event handler. And we'll go ahead and import that. Did I spell it wrong? Import. Event handler. Oh. Event handler. Okay. Well, we'll just go ahead and say public void. And then we're going to go ahead and say sign click. And it's going to be a player interact event event. So what we can do now is now we can import event handler because it wasn't we weren't attaching the handler to anything. That's why we could not import it. So what we want to do is we want to get the block that the player clicked, right? Um, let me just reload this because I did already test this out to make sure that it would work. So we want to get the block. Oop, got a nice giant error there, as you can see there. I have a pl have a plugin already. Uh, I already have a version of it on, um, but we want to get the block that they hit, right? So we need to go ahead and say block clicked block equals event dot event dot get clicked block. Sorry, I had a burp there. We'll go ahead and import all that. You can go ahead and do Control Shift O, or you can just hover over it. And then now what we want to say is this is going to give us every single block that can be clicked. So every single block you see in Minecraft, it's going to run this event. Um, I don't know why I clicked that. I just thought it was really cool. It's going to run this event every time that block gets clicked, right? So but we want it to be specific to a sign, right? Now you can say if block equals material sign, um, but that's not what we want to do because we're not really looking for the material aspect of the sign, but we want to get the block state. And now there's not many blocks that have block states, I don't believe, or maybe all blocks have block states, but regardless, um, we want to get the block state. So what we need to do is we got to say block state, and we're going to say state equals click block dot get state. And we'll go ahead and import block state. Make sure you're always doing um, all the bucket versions of everything, not um, Minecraft or Bungie. I do accidentally import some things. Sometimes it will work normally. Um, but just make sure you're doing bucket. And then we want to say if state instance of sign, we're going to run some code and go ahead and import that. And we want block sign. So what this is basically doing is this is saying if the state of the block or, you know, the state, like what the, bl the block is currently in, like a chess has a multiple states, like the open state and the closed state. Um, and signs have a state um, when they're on the wall. That's just, or a block has a state. It's hard to explain, but basically what we're saying, so if the state is instance of a sign, so if the block is a sign, right? So now what we want to do is we want to create a cast. Well, we have to set the variable uh, of sign to state, right? And then we're going to need to just go ahead and create an, uh, add a cast of sign there. So now we can get all, now we can get access to all the things that the sign class or the sign state has for us. So we can go ahead and say, if, well, 
let's just go ahead and create a string here. We're going to call it line one, which is really line zero, but that's okay. So we're going to say get line zero. So we're saying string line one equals sign dot get line zero. Now this is going to return us the value of this first line. So if I did hello, if I did a system printout for clicking this sign, um, it's going to print out hello because that is the first line or line zero. And then we want to say if line one dot equals ignore case, and we want, always want to use equals ignore case so that way um, you don't have to worry about um, anything you know being cased correctly. Um, so then we want to say if it equals that, well, we're going to add something here. So we're going to say if it equals, <clears throat> let's say, tutorial. Or we'll make it even easier, test. We'll make it nice and short. So if it equals bracket, open bracket, test, close bracket, then we're going to run some code. We're Actually, what we're going to do is, uh, let's change this again. Let's change this to, <coughs> um, let's just change this to, Set this to creative. We'll change the player's game mode, right? Um, so now we want to go back up here and we want to say player, player equals event dot get player. Because we want to go ahead and have the player there so we can get access to everything that the player um, class has to offer. So then if it, uh, if it does equal creative, we're just going to go ahead and say player dot set game mode. Game mode dot, well, not adventure, but creative. <clears throat> and then, as I always say, you should always have a message giving them confirmation that they did something. So go ahead and say check color dot green. Um, well, we could use dark green, but I want green. It might even give us a default Minecraft message as well. Your game mode has changed to, and we'll go ahead and use this one here. This is actually if you to get the symbols alt to one, and then we're going to go ahead and say e. Creative. All right, so now if we go ahead and export this plugin here and reload, what we can do is let's keep that keep that open here so we can see if we got any errors. So if this equals creative, and now if I click this sign, your game mode has been set to creative. So pretty pretty cool, right? So now I am in, in creative, and now I can go back to you know game mode zero. And boom, right back into creative. Now, <clears throat> you 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 may want to have this be so maybe the sign will change after you create it, right? So we can go ahead and change this first line here. So we can go ahead and say uh, sign dot set line zero, and we can go ahead and say chat color dot um, let's do light purple plus. And then we want to go ahead and say open bracket creative <clears throat> and close bracket. Let's go ahead and export that. Oh, and if you're doing any updates, if you're changing anything on the sign, you actually have to go ahead and do sign update because we need to update that block um, so it knows that something happened or a change happened to it. <clears throat> so if we click it, there we go. It is now changed to creative. So now we have active um, command signs. And now uh, you can you can do this with really any command that you want. You can actually go ahead and you know have the server dispatch a command. You can go ahead and have the player perform a command. You can really really do whatever you want, right? So that is actually all I got for you guys today in this episode. There is nothing more I really need to teach you guys on how to use command signs. You guys know how to create the instance of the sign. And now the instance thing <clears throat> in the block state that will work for really just about anything that has values that can be changed um, by code, right? So like a chest can be in the state of open or closed, um, and that is a block state. Um, there's other block states, like a furnace has a block state of on off. Um, I think a, maybe an enchantment table has one where open book, closed book. I'm not quite sure about the rest of them, but I know for a sign, this is the box states and what you can do with it. Um, I haven't actually explored what else is in the sign thing. So, so you can get light level, you can get a ton of things. Most of it you really won't need. Um, but if for some reason you did, you can go ahead and get those. But once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe if you have not already. Also, make sure to join my Discord. I have some uh, people on there who like to chat. Also, I do plug-in coding help on there. So if you're having some problems with your code, uh, I have a couple guys in here who will certainly help you out, including myself. 
And lastly, I am setting up a Patreon, so um, by the time this video is out, it may be already released, but I will make an official Patreon video um, about it being released. But uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.